Remember those walls that built well, Baby, they're tumbling down They didn't even put up a fight they didn't Good morning, my loves. It is Wednesday morning. <sighs> I have so much to do today. Wednesday is one of my busiest days because I teach um, ah, blah, I can't even talk. I meet with clients in the morning, I work from home, then I go back to the gym and teach my classes, which is TRX and yoga. Then I have to run some errands. And then I'm wearing these funky socks. Can you guys see this? Like, I have to wear these because the gym floor is so gross where I work and it's disgusting. And there have been times that I come home and my feet are this color because it's so, so bad. So I was like, I can't do that anymore. Like I have to wear socks, which usually I'm so spoiled at my ashram. The floor is so clean. So I've never had to like wear socks, but I'm like, no, no. Safety first. I don't want nasty cooties. Remember cooties? If you're from my era, you know what cooties are. All right, I'm gonna go because the class is gonna start in half an hour. I will talk to you on the other side. Um, bye bye. <sighs> Something about that sigh it feels so good. I just got home like a little while ago. Um, it's already 2.30, yeah, 2.30. Side note, why didn't I put chicken in the oven to cook before I left? Like, I don't get it. Like, I was home for a couple of hours. I could have had my chicken cooked that way when I came home now, I would have food waiting for me, but no. Now I have to wait because I only had the chicken in the oven for like seven minutes. And I like my chicken pretty dry, so it's gonna take at least 40 more minutes for that to cook. Oh, yeah. I'm so hungry. I had this thing that I always go to Subways after I teach my class and I'm like, I can't do that all the time. Like I can't get into that habit of always eating Subways, which I don't know why I can't. Like I love it. It's And I always get all the vegetables except two vegetables. No jalapenos and no cucumbers on my sandwiches. Fun fact. But I'm kind of regretting my life choice because now I'm sitting here hungry. I guess I'll have some veggies while I'll wait. But anyways, um, class was so packed today. It's a Wednesday afternoon class. It's like 12 o'clock my class, and it can go either way. Like one time, I had like three women in my TRX class. And today, though, I had, I think, 16 in TRX and like almost 20 women in yoga and men. But it was so good. I love when I have like new faces, but I especially love when they come back because the first time... They don't know what to expect, but when they come back, that's the awesome part because they kind of like you. So I'm like, oh, that's great. But I'm so tired. And I brought my camera with me to record some of it, but I found out that corporate was going to be there. And when corporate people are there, it's not that smart to break out your camera. So I was like, mm, not today, y'all. But maybe next week. Maybe next week I'll share some of it with you. Um, but it was a really good class. It was really, really good. Had to do most of it with them because a lot of the ladies were new. So every so often I would have to throw myself in the middle of the floor and just like blend in and just like, you can say something. Some people are visual learners, so I can say it over and over again, but they don't, they're, they don't understand. So I literally have to do it. Cause it's okay. Some people learn visually. Some um, are they can hear better. It depends. Like you have to adjust to who's in front of you. But that was cool. And my socks were good. Did I just put my foot in your face? My socks worked out really, really well. So that was awesome. I just want to get co complete coverage. Like when I got home, I can still see like dirt on my toes. So I have to get that. But besides that, it was a good time. I love when I teach. I seriously love it. It makes my heart so happy. It does, it does, it does. <sighs> Look at that pretty candle. I always like to have a candle lit when I'm home. And I still have, I close the window blinds because I just, sorry, clothes are like, I work out a lot, so I'm always like letting clothes dry out. <sighs> but yeah, I'm just happy to be home. I have to work on client programs for, I think Friday, and then I have a class to teach tomorrow, so I have to work on that. But for now, I'm going to sit here in quiet stillness and just... I talk so much while I'm teaching that it's like I have to like just be quiet. It's so good. I love it. Seriously, like if it wasn't, if you guys weren't watching me, I would just sit here like this. But that would be a shitty video to watch, so <laughs> I'm gonna go so I can do that. Um, yes. I'll show you what, what I'm having for lunch. I actually have no idea. I just know chicken will be part of it. 
I just don't know what it's too late to make rice because I make brown rice and that's gonna take forever but I have a lavish bread maybe I'll make a chicken pizza that sounds good hmm I don't know I don't know again my brain's not working but I feel like chicken pizza might be a good idea the chicken right now I seasoned it with flavor god ranch that might be a good idea I think that's what's going to happen maybe I'll take a nap so I can time travel to the future and eat when I wake up you ever thought of that naps are time traveling to your next meal it's, it's like amazing all right I'm gonna go I'll show you uh, I wish that's the second time I do that today I can't even talk I will share my meal with you when I figure out what it is Later. seconds in about to devour this I'm like holy shit I said I was gonna share with you guys that I was gonna have and yep I ended up making what I was craving which is pizza with onions some spinach chicken baked chicken um what else is on it light mozzarella cheese and marinara oh and the everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's oh she looks so good all right I'm gonna go eat for 21 days all your stuff and get one item back each day to discover the most important things in life. You really love your hands for me. So I'm eating my popcorn and I kind of want to vent just a little bit. People need to mind their own business, like. So um, this morning, I went to meet clients at the gym, and I have friends that go to the gym as well. And me and my friend were done. I was done training. She was working out, so we decided to walk home because she lives right around the block from me. So we always end up going to Key Food, which is a supermarket around us. We always go to Key Food usually. And we went, and the people that work there know that I work at the gym. So me and my friend are online at the register, and I'm buying these. I bought this as well as the other one that I showed you. And one of the girls that works at the register, she's a sweet girl. And she's and me and my friend are talking about my popcorn maker. How I bought my popcorn maker and I absolutely love it and that's why I'm buying this. So the girl at the register chimes in and she's like, how are you a trainer and eating popcorn? I'm like, excuse me? Like, first off, what business is it to you if I want to eat popcorn? And secondly, popcorn is a good snack especially if you're making it at home if it's air popped it's not smothered in butter like i'm using this which is like five calories which i again i don't need to explain myself to her but i just think that sometimes people want to give their opinion but they honestly have zero idea what they're talking about and i told her why don't you go on google and like look at healthier snack options and i'm pretty sure popcorn will be on that list yes it's not a vegetable but it's a good snack option and the man at the register behind me heard and he was like oh he even chimed in and said popcorn yes it is and it's high in fiber so again and it just annoyed me because maybe someone who doesn't know any better would hear her comment and think oh i shouldn't do this who is she like again nice girl but people really need to just like But on that note, I'm eating my popcorn, two tablespoons. I put this seasoning on it. I don't think I put enough because I don't really taste it. I might add some butter too much butter. There is no such thing. That's what that says. I get it. Butter is life. Butter will kill you. But, but what butter won't kill you. But anyways, um, but yes. <sighs> Do what makes you happy. Everything in moderation and whatever. Like. Like, bitch, I burned like 3,000 calories today. I could eat popcorn. I could eat popcorn and butter. I could do whatever I want because I'm an adult. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, I'm going to eat my popcorn. I always joke that Wednesday is my, like, busiest day. And look at these numbers. Like, they don't lie. It's crazy how active I am on Wednesdays. That That's me training clients teaching two classes and running errands so yeah i can eat popcorn <laughs> you know what it doesn't matter what your numbers are you're an adult you can do whatever you want yeah all right boy eventually uh
that Bl moment you realize that you forgot to record and post your video, but everything happens for a reason because now I get to share these socks that I received. These are yoga socks. The company is Doobie Baby. And um, if you remember a little bit earlier, I, I was complaining about my socks not having full coverage when I teach yoga at my gym and my toes were still dirty. So I went online, found these on Amazon. It's a pack of four. It had really good reviews. And like just doing this, I could feel like the stickiness on the ground, which is awesome sauce. And then the company was so sweet. They sent me a necklace with the different chakras on it and i tried to tag them on instagram a couple of days ago to say thank you and they didn't have an instagram page which i find very strange like, i don't understand how companies don't have a social media page because i feel like social media is so important for a company's growth but it's okay because i still found them on amazon so maybe you don't need a social media page i can't wait to try them on actually let's see let's try one on right now why not right um let's do great because why not these are so cute I hope they're comfy. Oh, they're so comfy. Yeah, they are really sticky. This is gonna be perfect for what I teach because sometimes when I'm teaching, I walk around a lot. And since I'm wearing socks now, see I'm like doing a warrior two, I can feel my foot sliding and these are definitely gonna help. And I like the little top of it. That way I don't get, um, what's that, chafing in the back, like a blister in the back of my ankle, which is awesome. These are so cute. Yeah, I like the stickiness factor. Definitely gonna wear these tomorrow. Simple things make me happy, like you have no idea. Like, I just love things that make my life easier. Sorry for showing you my feet. If you have foot issues, like you don't like looking at feet, turn away now. But I actually have cute toes. Whatever, I digress. Um, but yeah, today has been so far a long day. I, for some reason, I woke up before my alarm went off. It's Tuesday, by the way. Um, I, my alarm went off at 3 o'clock and I was already up out of bed like 2.50 something so I went with it usually I try to fight them I go oh, let me try to stay in a little bit longer I'm like you know what just wait oh it has a cute purple um, but I was like just get up like what's the point had an awesome workout um, did some yoga and sometimes when you're doing yoga I actually posted about this on Instagram sometimes when you're doing yoga um, when you're flowing and moving you, I sometimes get emotional when I'm in the middle of it and it could be I listen to music some well most of the time I listen to music when I'm doing yoga and I guess sometimes a song can just trigger the waterworks and it's okay like it's okay to cry when you're in your practice sometimes I cry when I'm in Shavasana in a class like you, it's a release and yoga is much more than just connecting the body the physical to the floor and just moving it's connecting your physical and your spiritual side together and i said on instagram like think of the tears like water for your soul to grow because sometimes you need to release in order to grow and yeah i i actually i like when that happens sometimes because then i feel like i'm getting deeper within so i don't know rambling at its finest and it's not even monday morning rambles Anyways, I'm going to go because I have ish to do. I actually just got home and I have groceries to put away. They're behind you. You don't see them. But I just want to make sure I recorded this outro. That way I can hopefully get this up by today. The rest of the videos are already recorded. I mean, edited. I just have to add this. And that's it. And Zed's behind the camera now. acting weird. So I'm going to go. As always, my loves, thank you so much for sitting down and watching these videos. Like, truly, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I appreciate you. And as always, my loves, Namaste. Bye.